Borat's subsequent Mova film would have been one of the most talked about movies of the year. As an expert of national security, what do you think? Even in a normal year for cinema, largely thanks to that Rudy Giuliani scene. However, what most people wouldn't have expected is for the surprise sequel to be talked about in terms of potential awards recognition at the Oscars, Golden Globes, and more. I was, yeah, they thought that I was a foreign guy who didn't really understand much about coronavirus. My name is Borat. Okay, okay, good, good. Well, I'm not used to that, but that's fine. That's exactly what is happening right now, though. And we are not just talking about Sacha Baron Cohen's high praise of brilliant breakout star Maria Bakalova, with him saying it'd be a travesty if she wasn't an Oscar contention for her performance as Borat's daughter Tudor. You might put it solely down to the relative lack of contenders in this abnormal year. That's what you want, but it's not what you want. But I also don't want you to die. Which has already seen the Oscars delayed to April 25. But that doesn't really matter, as the movie appears to have a genuine shot at Oscar glory. But could the unexpected comedy sequel really win at the Oscars? Despite releasing on a streaming service with no planned theatrical release, Borat 2 will be eligible for Oscar contention, due to Amazon holding drive-in screenings in the US and adding it to the Academy screening room. So that's one obstacle out of the way, but the biggest one in Baron Cohen's way comes from the Golden Globes. Given that the Globes split Best Movie and Best Actor into drama and musical or comedy, the sequel has a real shot at landing a nomination for Best Movie Musical or Comedy, as well as Baron Cohen and, hopefully, Maria Bakalova in their respective acting categories. Over there. She's over there too. Without any recognition from the Globes, you can rule out any chance of Borat 2 getting any main Oscar nominations, let alone winning. However, the first Borat movie gained Best Movie and Best Actor nods at the Globes, with Baron Cohen winning Best Actor. Somebody rolls on the windshield, they could crack your windshield. How yeah. fast do I need to go to guarantee I kill him? I, let me tell you something, with this vehicle here, probably doing 35, 40 miles an hour would do it. Great! Although it lost out to Dreamgirls for Best Movie. It means that Globe's recognition for Borat 2 is highly likely in all the major musical or comedy categories. It's all speculative for now, but if that does happen and the sequel not only gains Best Movie, Best Actor, and Best Actress nominations, but goes on to win them, then the history is there that an Oscar nomination should follow. You just hit me, man. You just hit me. Don't punch me. Mike, help me! Mike, you're fired! In the last decade, every movie that has won the Golden Globe for Best Movie Musical or Comedy has gone on to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, likely a result of the expansion to 10 nominees in that category. As of today, we have it's not quite as positive a picture in the acting categories, but generally, there would be hope that if Baron Cohen and Bakalova won at the Globes, then an Oscar nomination would follow. In the past decade, only three of the Best Actor winners at the Globes haven't landed an Oscar nomination, and only two of the Best Actress winners at the Globes haven't landed an Oscar nomination. Not all of them could repeat their Globe-winning success, but they were in the shortlist. Of course, Baron Cohen would only be too aware of how Globe's glory can lead to Oscar's pain, as his Globe's win for Borat didn't even translate into an Oscar nomination. Where is everybody? I do not see anybody on the street. That's everybody's at home, they're telling them to stay inside so they don't spread this virus. As with anything with awards season, it's not an exact science, but the point is that the hope is there for Borat too, to be a genuine contender at the Oscars. This COVID-19 thing passes. What is more dangerous, this uh, virus or the Democrat? Democrats. Democrats. As bizarre as that sounds. The first movie received a Best Adapted Screenplay nomination, losing out to The Departed, so the sequel could repeat that nomination as well. With Netflix sure to be in contention with the likes of The Trial of the Chicago 7, also starring Baron Cohen, Mank, and more, it could be that Amazon will go big on a Borat 2 campaign, as it's their first movie in a while to be in potential contention. What might go against a sequel is that with the Oscars delayed, there's a chance that as much as it's captured the zeitgeist right now, it remains to be seen if that will be the case early next year, when the awards race will begin in earnest. Hey. Seal that up. 
Matthew McConaughey. By then, Borat's subsequent Movifilm might be just another unexpected footnote in a year packed full of unexpected events. What's more, there are still plenty of more traditional Oscar contenders to be released, which could end any chances for the sequel. Right now though, it says a lot about 2020 that if the sequel does gain awards recognition, it wouldn't be all that surprising. But I hear uh, McDonald Trump, he uh, cage uh, Mexican well, children. Yes, yeah, high five! <laughs> Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.